Let's go. And here we go. This is Flash at the dork table. And this is Grammy at the dork table, too. He let me pull up my big girl chair with my pillows and shit and stuff. Do you got, <laughs> Do you have your I Love Kansas pillow? <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. You don't love Kansas? No, I ain't spending money on a pillow like that. Bullshit. Mm. Okay. I see how you are. You are just going to be... Why should I give them free advertising? Well, it's free for them, but it's not free for me. Why should I do that shit? I don't know. that. Wow. I'm getting quite I'm going to sit here and drink my orange water. I feel like I'm on the stand, being investigated by the other side. Anyway, we're here on the 6th of June, 2020, Mary. Do you believe half a year has gone by? And between everybody together on the RLM, nobody's done a fucking thing all year. <laughs> Never mind. That was a lockdown show. Never mind. That fizzle. Yeah. Except Vinny. Vinny got to go to the hospital before all the hoopla started. Never mind. See how he is. Anyway. Now, what's he in the, is he out of the hospital now, or is he still in there? Yes, the, I am snoring. And, as always, thank you, Grimner. Uh, Grim gives us the opportunity to come out here on the radio and be goofwads. So I want to say thanks and you want to you want a bot and body this week? Do I want a bot and body? Oh that sounds almost naughty. I bot and body. Identifying the bodies for the Dork Table Ooh. podcast is Graham Z. Yeah, Flash is going <laughs> Okay, over here in the RLM, I see we got 40 people logged into the chat. Woo-woo! see Barman right up top, who is the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. Why? Because I said so. We also see Beetle. Hey, Beetle, how you doing? Hope you're having an absolutely splendiferous day. Grimmy is here. Hey, Grimner, the RLM god, don't you know? Um, yum, yum, yum. Okay, don't take a knee to Grimner because he'll probably kick you in the ass. If you do, because Grim don't do that shit. I also see yeah. the lovely Miss Moose Goyal is here. Mm-hmm. Hey, Moosey, how Everybody's you doing? And we got the lovely Miss Kate as well. Kate is having a protest in her backyard. Yeah, I read about that on the internet. Yeah, bring your own weenies and bring your own. own <laughs> <beverages>. <laughs> Be more specific, little Missy. Jews more will specific. really. Take advantage of that one. Well, I was going to say bring your weenies that fit in buns, but, you know, that really doesn't make it more specific either. It makes does the it? whole joke better, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a protest in her backyard, though, so in case anybody has a problem. So they're going the now just to see what's going to happen. Okay, anyway. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Okay. I also see yeah. Anti is here, as well as Anti with a tail. <laughs> That's right, Grim. Never leave home without it. You got your weenie. I got my weenie right here. No, I don't. When I was, well, I got the dog on the floor. When I, it's hot outside. When I was a barker on on St. Anne and Bourbon, that was my top slogan. Don't be a meanie, get your girl a weenie. Oh, hey, there you go. And the girls there would blush, and then there'd be two more hot dogs. So, hey. Yeah. See? From That's my, how you do it. From my inventory. <sighs> An all beef weenie. It was worse the worst beef. I, I yeah. would say it, it was 1982, so there might have even been some beef in this stuff. I don't know. I was just selling it. I wasn't concerned with it. And eating it, too, but I don't, I don't give a shit what it was. I was a kid. I yeah. was just yeah. a young fella having fun in New Orleans. He's making money and eating things. But you don't say there you it go. like that there. It's the American dream. Not my dream. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, you dirty girl. Hey, hey, hey. I also see Asmo is in the chat. Hey, Asmodius Asmo. We also got a Chalcedonie in the chat, as well as the lovely Cyclo. She's Cyclo. playing hooky out in the backyard. 
Well, you know, if the weather is nice, she may as well. I was outside earlier today, but the wind and the heat got a little much for me. Um, I also see the lovely Miss Diane Van Meter is um, in the chat. And looky there, we got is in the chat. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> we also got an echelon in the chitty chat as well as flash somebody my Hello. cohort in crime frumpy is here as well as frumpy work he's such an overachiever i'm here and i'm not really overachieving at much of anything today yeah, i also see man. java 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 jog dr q blah, 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 blah. spit that out java hey, to me. yeah he got his surgery Yay! So he's on his road to recovery from the repair Sweet. job on the first unwell done job. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Something yeah, like that. you know, mechanics when they, they work on your car and mm-hmm. they don't fix the problem or, you know, they fix it improperly, mm-hmm. they have to refix it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, or at least out here, you don't get charged for it because if what they screwed up or if they tried to fix, they screwed it up and so had to fix it again. Mm-hmm. But do you know when a doctor screws up, yeah. what they do with their mistakes? They bury them. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. why I want dueling brought back. You know, ah. for, for our television viewing entertainment. Banjos? Dueling that, banjos? No, dueling handguns. Oh. For all crimes. Well, I'll sit back and watch the guns fight. Yeah. For all crimes, civil, passionate, and imaginary. <laughs> ah. Just challenge. Hi, I am Lone Frog. Hey, the frog's here. Hmm. The frog's here. It's Froggy. A noodling frog in the RLM. I don't. I don't think he's the same one as from the Little Rascals, but anyway, <laughs> that's okay. <Yeah. laughs> I also see Meister Brower is here. <laughs> hey Woody. And we also got some Prince. And Woody started yeah. up Woody started up a new channel on his uh our, on his uh, YouTube channel. Sweet. So, yeah, well, we've been uh, letting people know trying to or, or it's, he just started the other day. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Well, you'll need to let me know what the channel name is so I can go well, check it out. Well, Grim's got all the technical stuff to throw it into the notes of the show. But I wanted to make oh. a point out loud for the radio. Jeez, what do you think I interrupt you for? Just for shits and giggles? I got yeah. news. I got news. Important stuff going on. Come That's on, damn it! That's important things to tell everybody. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's the RLM news. Yeah, we got Rob Boyks here too, and he fired up the bubbler. Woohoo! Yeah, everybody, get a little cybernetic toke yeah. off of that shit. We got trust no one in the chat, as well as the lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter turner of the RLM channel, closely followed by Weather Dork. Mm -hmm. And Weather Dork, seriously, dude, I'm not wearing a skirt. You can tone down the wind any time now. Yeah, there we go. I also see a phantom in the The chat. Phantom. What's the phantom? It is, as well as CC66. And we got some Chascura. In the chat. And Chloe. Chloe singular, isn't it? Chloe's here, yeah. Just one Chloe to eat. Got a cyborgian noodle, so may you be touched by the cyborgian noodle. No, of it touch all. your and damn noodle. Yeah. There's a lot of people that need to be touched by a cyborgian noodle <laughs> and for no other reason than for them to just chill the shit now. I also see E-Man is here, as well as n which is what we are experiencing right now. This is not a test. We are experiencing the end of civilization as we know it. But guess what? That happens every freaking day. So, you know, close your eyes, go to sleep. Next morning, civilization had ended as you knew it, and that's now a whole new thing. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I also, oh, Woody's new channel. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Grimmy. Hey, Grim. Okay. Yep. I also see, where was I at? There was I at. Gromit. We got a Gromit in the chat. There's Froggy again. And we got some JJ's. No, 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 JJ's. The Scottish speller with the kilt. He's got my skirt right now, Rob. <laughs> okay. I also see some Kiss. Mwah. 
in the chitty chat, as well as Matt WJ2002, Mr. Snick Snack Patty Whack Give Your Dog a Bone is also in the chat. <laughs> Got some Papa Papa Bon Sauce and Sock hmm. Puppet. The Smataz. There's one in every crowd. And to round out the crew, the one, the only, the holiest Roger ever. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you of say that. I do own my skirt out to guys because I want to see what the attraction is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Loan? Who, what, do they got to wear it while, while they're not, while you're not? Well, hey, I want to flip the skirt, too, you know, but I'm not into Goyles, so I, I, moving along. Here, <laughs> another dark table. See you next week, everybody. <laughs> anyway. Another dark table where Grams goes just a little too far once again. No, you, you, you never go too far. We just say that just so that you'll keep trying to. Anyway, so ah. Woody has a new uh, YouTube. I guess it's not a new, yeah. yeah, right? New. So I put the link in the notes. But Woody's, what do they call that? Woody's YouTube <laughs> live stream. Is what I'm, yeah, yeah, it's 1A News over on YouTube, yeah. and I just subscribed to it. There you go. See, we we got each other's sh- you know, shit around here. That's what we do in small clusters. But, small clusters. Oh, yeah, the big clusters, uh, they, they just fall apart. Yeah, they do, because they get too heavy, can't carry their own weight, and then they just go... <clears throat> Seems that way, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Um. But, you know, then there's some big clusters that are just too big to fail, according to those that are making money off of the big clusters, at least. Yeah, Grim, if you're listening, go go through that first notes with Woody stuff, and if I didn't type it right, will you fix it? Because I think I covered it right, but I might have typed something crazy. You never know. It's just back me up. <laughs> mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. But I'm just being me, you know, trying to do the uh, technical things I'm not really skilled for. So I, I don't give them every, you know, it's not like I'm painting something I want to paint. Then I'd be con- concentrating and committed and involved and shit. And when I'm doing, like, writing opinions about shit, it's not, I don't really think I give it everything I got. I think I'll blame you for that, for my weakness. Okay. Yeah, it's all your fault, Mary. You have been a bad influence. <laughs> wow. I've been a very bad girl. And the farmer likes it. He says, ooh, you're being a bad girl. <laughs> Did I tell you? I, I figured out a way to cure everybody of all the riots. And they're going to keep coming for a while, too. But I figured out a way sure. to stop them in like one, like an hour. All of it. All the protesters, stay the fuck home. Okay? Go, and then all of you go right back home and leave those fucking uh, abusers and and bums out there that are trying to fuck it up. Leave them out there to fight the cops by themselves. Quit getting stuck in it. Oh, but it's just entirely too much fun to whip that cell phone out and get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. on YouTube. Post it on Facebook Live. Post it on Instagram. Go. Post, post it, post it, post it. You know the post office is getting a little bit pissed. That all these people are posting shit without using them. So you don't, you don't like my cure for civilization, huh? I think <sighs> the best protest against the leeches that be and and those that that seem to think they rule the world, although they don't. They just leech off of the rest of us. I think the best way to to do battle with them is to go home and tell them find someone else to suck off of. Well, right, but it's the way that you do it. And if it was coordinated like they coordinate the destruction, if they would coordinate uh-huh. the cure in the same fashion, where everybody goes out and then at a certain time, everybody that's nonviolent returns home immediately and leave all the violent fucks out there to go fight because that's what they want. Maybe all they're waiting for mm. is someone to jump out and go, okay, quick, everyone, hide. No, it's so spread out. You know, as, soon as, 
hear that when you're at, you know, a protest like in someone's backyard. Um, everybody scatters. It's gone you know, well it's like beyond that. Big, 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 big. It's gone well beyond that. All of it. Well, you're just, you're just taking all the fun out of my quick, everyone. Yeah. Hide. Yeah, because it's, it's not, there's, uh, yeah, there's a very violent, belligerent side from the police to the people. That's so obvious. We're looking on it out here, scratching their head. Why can't the public figure this out? They still support the fucking cops. After what they've seen in news and all this shit. Because, you know, it's all tilted to get you well, to agree to something under the terms you're told to agree to a mother. I think there is an awful lot of creative editing going mm-hmm. on out there by all sides. Mm-hmm. And if you are not there to see it... Mm-hmm. How do you know that that's actually what happened? Or did something happen prior to that was not recorded mm-hmm. for posterity and put out there on YouTube and Facebook Live and whatever else other place out there? And and so, I mean, to me, it's like, okay, where's, show me the guy in the director's chair going, cut, you screwed that shit up, and start over. Yeah. That's what yeah. I want to see. Wow. Yeah. See, they're setting it up for, a, it, instead of a reset, which probably could have been pulled off somehow, if it would have been planned better, but they had the collapse come first. They ran out of stories to keep borrowing, so now they're just going to let it go. Let it all go, and we'll just keep borrowing. Pretend It's like pretend borrowing, because they're never going to get paid on these trillions of borrowing. It's a joke. Well... Yeah, it's pretend borrowing with pretend money. You're playing a massive global mm. game of mm. monopoly. Mm. Yeah, I love that story though. We we have we told it too much. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Well, then where where is your attention in the news, and and how does it get your attention? Where is my attention in the news? Yeah, you must be uh, interested in something going on somewhere in the world or in life. Well, be well careful. Drink, I don't, you know, I don't really have a specific hmm. <coughs> excuse me place that my attention is straying to of late. Hmm. You know, it's it's one of those. I just sit back, and if something jumps in front of me, then it's like, oh, I think I'll check that out. Well, I think medicine oh, would be random lately, but I think medicine would be on your list. Medicine is on my list. Aha! See, I um, thought so. <laughs> random acts of kindness are on my list because wow. right now there's random acts of pillaging and plundering, although I don't think they're quite so random. But well, yeah, and I, like, like, I like to find random acts of kindness and to see animals doing things that make us go, wow, that's such a goofy animal. And then I stop and think, wow, and I'm sitting here watching it. <laughs> and, there, and there's two or three or four million ways to look at it but that's the beauty yeah. of the whole thing is we all think we're looking at the same thing the same way and we're not we're all looking at it in all kinds of different ways and the people get on the news and tell everybody what to believe uh-huh and it's wow very controlling this whole you know uh, looking on to the whatever's going on around it around this well it's like that that video that got supposedly got this shit storm going um, of uh, George, is that his name? Yeah, George. Pink's brother, George. Yeah. George getting, Floyd. It choked yeah, out. Yeah, he was the younger, and, he was the younger Floyd brother and, well, they didn't let him play play anything. They, they kicked him ah, out. Yeah. Okay. His name was George well, Floyd. Well, yeah. apparently... You know, that video was filmed, you know, right up close and personal to where you could see his face and all this other fun stuff while this stuff was going on. And then another video emerged in the last couple of days from across the street filming the same thing. And yet while they're filming the same thing going on from across the street, there's nobody in the area that was supposedly filming it where you should have been able to see them up there close and personal getting in there with their camera phone and filming it, which makes me wonder how many takes did it take to get to the cookie Tootsie Roll center of that Tootsie Pop? Uh, 
Or yeah, nine, no? Seven. Eight. I, nine. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm guessing. You know, I don't know. <laughs> well, Sorry. part of me, when yeah. I first saw that, was, what the hell? Hmm. What the actual hell is going on here? And then seeing all the other cops just standing around, and then I saw a surveillance video thing of it, and I thought, what the actual hell? What is going on here? And the little voice in the back of my brain was going, something ain't right here. Something smells awful stinky here. And then that other video came out that someone had apparently videotaped or you know with their camera phone what do you call it now when you because you don't videotape it anymore <laughs> whatever <laughs> live with their stream. camera phone yeah. they're, they're live capturing stream. video of the act mm-hmm. if you will and there's no one on the sidewalk where they should have been <laughs> in order to get the angle and get wow. the video footage Brave it. <laughs> of of the act happening that went out and went viral and was the spark that lit the flame of this going on just fine. And I'm like, okay, there's some creative editing shit going on here, and I'm not liking it. Wow. Not at all. Right. And then this morning I watched an observation deck, and it was all about taking a knee and and where that, you know, that's a Masonic thing. And there, he brought up several other things, which I love Robert anyway. But Ooh. He said, isn't it rather interesting, the way I see this, what started all of this, supposedly, was someone taking a knee on someone on this gentleman's back and neck. And now they're demanding that white people take a knee and (laughs) apologize. Fuck you. (laughs) And it's like... Okay. If I get down on my knees, I need help to get back up again because I'm sorry. I'm still healing mm-hmm. from other things, Different you know, trying to play shit. demo derby on a highway. And, yeah. Um, Arm no. wrestling a Toyota. I, I, I don't. I quit taking a knee when I quit going to the Catholic Church, and that was a long mm-hmm. time ago. Yeah, but don't over-explain. It's just as bad as kneeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, gotcha. Yeah. I was joking, yeah, Mary. Yeah. That was just a cheap I shot. I shouldn't have taken it. But, uh, no, that was a good uh, shot. I'm gonna, good shot. I'm going to take a moment to pitch uh, uh, Ant's site, realliberty.org. So oh, yeah. Paste it into the main bit of the notes here for the listeners and future listeners yes. <laughs> of the Dork Table podcast. Okay. Well, there's dork, 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 but, dork, dork. yeah, dork. But realliberty.org is a little it's a little more serious. They've got more uh, video links, opinions, and shit, way to talk to each other, all that. It's a little bit more involved than a chat room. That's all. Hmm. Yeah. A little bit more. Well, I, you know these guys, and I just thought you might want to say dorks. something. And my wife Sorry. says, hey, dorks. Well, Aunt just did some kind of upgrade, Jehuchi Grimner was saying. And uh, so I'm using the site again. Ah, there you go. Well, if I'm going to use it, I, I write blogs and shit over there. And Grim manages to uh, get me a few people to read them. Yay. Well, I know you you write blogs and shit. Oh, sorry. But they could probably use a little traffic for whatever reason they got the site up. Use the site. And if you're over there, go over there and read my blog. I'm going to go ahead and post that link Mm -hmm. to the observation deck as well. Again. (laughs) The observation deck. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Beam me up. Uh, Beam me barman. Up, Scotty. Barman. Are you crazy? Scotty's not on Grimner's, uh, what is that, bridge? <laughs> Grimner's bridge has got barman and weather, you know, weather dork. <laughs> uh-huh. It's a different bridge. It's not the same one as Scotty came off. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. You got to roll with the changes, Miss Mary, or you get left behind. And there you go. You'll be all alone in a field going, where did everybody go? 
they all advanced yeah. and left you in the high weeds to rot. <laughs> I know, because they all did the hurry up and I did the wait. That's yeah. <laughs> hurry up and wait. Uh, I don't know where they go, though. But they go somewhere. All right. So my next question for Miss mm-hmm. Mary tonight being is, I asked you where your attention in the news was, and, and, you know, once you gave it a little thought, did it struck you, you know? So that was a pretty good answer. I, I like that. I, I like playing these games. Now, what else we got here? Oh, yeah, and Salt Lake City, Mike, is uh, one, he says, one week away from being finished, moved in. So, But he's in the Yay. process, and he's got his shit going. So he's in and out and busy being a... You know, mover. <laughs> a mover. <laughs> well, mover yeah, and a, a, a transient, you know, a changer of places. Yeah. These hey, things. Kind of like you was for a while there. But in the future, these things are going to be frowned upon by civilizations because you could be sick and carry a bug. And the stories are going to change. Blah, 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 blah. But the, the control so shit. If you carry hmm. a bug, you're sick. I would assume. I, yeah. I picked up a bug in the house yeah. yesterday, yeah. and I carried it outside. Yeah. yeah, what they're raising children to not have an immune system, so that's going to cause them some trouble trying to become an adult. They don't quite understand the dynamics of how the human immune system works. They don't know it operates best if you let it work. <laughs> no, they suppress it from the fucking moment you you come out of the shoot. Start oh, chopping yeah. on that umbilical cord. Take all your juice away from you. Boom. Shoot you up oh, full it, of inoculations and make you sick. And it used to be that you had to sign all kinds of releases and stuff if you wanted to keep the umbilical cord and, and the placenta. Mm-hmm. But now they don't even let you do that shit. See? Control, control, And you know control. why? Because those are loaded with stem cells. Yeah. And they but- know that shit. They're butchering us like we, we get treated so badly. And... Then you talk to a voter and they go, but we got roads, baby. Look, I could drive my B. Oh, yeah, my car. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, roads. I don't know. I think I used to be that way because I like my roads. As far as that hey, goes. Yeah. But, I'm looking over here on Twitter and breaking news. Walmart has pledged $100 million to advance racial equality. Wow, that's awfully cool considering oh, that there's no such thing as racial races, equality, like yeah. human race. Whole there things. are ethnicities, there are cultural differences, but we are not different races. It's not like horses and donkeys. <laughs> it is when, when when you allow it to be like we do because we're well, misled yeah. about what any of this shit means. They just get you with the headlines and you don't know what the fucking story is about. It's a beautiful game, beautiful game. Just jealous oh, yeah. that I didn't for... think of all these things ahead of time and invest heavily in them. It's white for years. Remember when I told you, get yourself a fucking lawyer, a friend. You buddy up with a lawyer somewhere that you got insider trading. They find out, hey, yeah, they're going to pass a law that says you got to wear masks. Can you imagine knowing that three weeks ahead of time? to make yourself yeah. like a quadrillion dollars and live like Trump forever off that investment. And I tell you what, mm. I tell you what, these mm. riots have cured one thing. Mm. Was What was it? Portland is considering doing a thing making it illegal to wear masks. No more corona! No. COVID is gone. Ah. Well, riots stepped in to save the day. But see, the truth is, is if you watch enough movies and television, You can seriously, I can see a person justifying all all this is real. Go, I'm scared. But if you have just a little bit of, you know, experience living. (laughs) Yeah. And and you read a book or two along the way. Most of us know we're germs. What does Grimm say? Stay away from other people. They're nasty. Because... What we are, we're covered from head to toe in bacteria and germs. <laughs> we are yeah. a germ colony. We but, are a walking, talking, okay. thinking we are self-realized right. germ colony. Okay. 
But now they've trained some of us to be smart enough to run like a cell phone, you know, and get a bunch of answers and send pictures and do all this stuff that it seems like you're really smart if you're capable of doing it, but you're not. See, and this is when technology (laughs) has turned the tables on us. Yeah. And instead of our computers being infected with a virus, Mm. our computers are infecting us with a virus. Well, they they made this stuff so easy that even a chimpanzee can do it. I bet you can train it. You could train a chimpanzee to use a smartphone. And then they'd see, they go, see how smart the monkey is? Matt, see how easy it is to operate the thing? <laughs> see no, how smart the monkey cats is? Cats operate tablets. You know, you put that little ant game on there or whatever, mm. and cats operate a tablet. Mm. Yeah. And I know my cat does a wonderful job of typing on my keyboard when she gets up here and lays down on the desk. Yeah, but, you know, dollar for dollar, like, you know, put a monkey against a human say, like in a competition kind of a thing. The monkey Uh is always going to have the uh, disadvantage to the human, except if something is like instinctive or super simple, I'll bet you the animal would win. So there's things that you couldn't train a monkey to do with a camera, or it wouldn't figure it all out by itself. But the idea that it could be taught to use it to a degree scares me. Yeah. Hey, these people are voting, and they get people in office that they support, and these fuckers are writing laws to do these horrible things to us that they do. <laughs> and then, then they hire these pigs to just fuck you up if you ever dare to go against their word. And now they got the reason, all the reason and support in the world to go out there and just bash people's skulls in, and knock them over when they're running, just do whatever they like. And they're doing it. So if, if they just do a little at a time every day, the public will just get used to it until there's no public left. Okay. Hmm? I've got... I, I, this Whoa. racism shit has gone entirely too far. I was giving you a verbal experience of my mind. <laughs> I know you You know were, what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. I, I clicked on Twitter while yeah. you were giving it to me. What'd and God dang, Babylon B. Yeah. A husband is now boycotting household chores until racism is defeated. Uh, we can't, nah, it has gone too far. That's self-defeating. So no, that's it's funny, but nah. Damn it, somebody has got to do the dusting because I hate to dust. Well, <laughs> you know what irritates me about all this crap, and, and you, you know, I go back with this idea. I'm going to present to you after I get done telling you I told you before. Remember uh-huh. when that. What was it? Some baseball team had a two million people showed up to celebrate this freaking baseball fucking team winning some. No, it was when the Royals won. Stupid yeah. fucking baseball. Okay, this is what I'm looking on. Yeah. Right? And at the time, I'm bitching at you, and I go, "But Mary, there's two million people together, and if they would have screamed, make pot legal, it doesn't hurt anyone, they could have started that whole thing then you know, for everybody." But there's just little tiny pockets. Hey, there's 20 people here. Hey, there's 50 people over here. <laughs> so it never goes anywhere. Yeah. And whenever we get yeah. in groups that are that large, whatever is done or said is always manipulated by the media. <laughs> so you never, you never hear the truth any damn way. Well, true. Okay, the truth is in the results of what the society you're in is doing. So if your so your local society is hanging on and there's no phys, you know physical damage, and you know, people are getting along, that generally tells you that you got a foundation. And where there's chaos and hoopla, there's big government and a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you think this is besides? What do you call it? Control. <laughs> they're they're trying to claim this is all random and shit. And it's from a distance it looks like a perfectly played out movie. I've seen this movie before, Miss Perry. Yes. But it's like a lot of different movies all put together into one big movie. Is that no? Yeah, no, it's yeah. all well it is all yeah. yeah. 
know, like Terminator and uh, what else? <laughs> well, All we need now is the threat of the internet taking over and turning against us and is threatening us with nuclear war. And then, of course, somebody has to build a time machine. Do all that yeah. stuff. But we got a future ahead. Go back to a simpler time. And, but it's and 2020, and we didn't do any of this crap. Yet. We're in trouble. And and Hollywood what? warned us. They told us, "Look what's going to happen." It is 2020, and we haven't done any of this crap because we're too busy looking back and going, "Holy shit, we really screwed up." Did you notice that? Did you look back at that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what led us to here. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. No. Yeah. I'm not there. Are you there? Uh, well, as a collective, I... I'm there. Wait a minute. Let me rephrase. As a collective, I'm there. As a singular individual, I am not there. Okay. As a singular individual, you yeah. know, unless I really concentrate on it, I don't really yeah. peer back yeah. to the past. Yeah. But as yeah. a collective, when I see what's going on and yeah. then I go, holy shit, if you look back and you see the progression of how we got here, <laughs> just a few of the steps that I can see. <laughs> it took a lot end. of work, though. Yeah, it was clever. Yeah. Okay. Twenty something New Yorkers just oh. Ah. Uh, hey, did you see the I link have... I sent you about the governor of Idaho and the laws that he has uh, suspended? Just suspended them. Boom, they're gone, and they're all regarding uh, the protections of the individual and children's rights. Parental rights, too. So, the state is the ultimate. The guy is like a dictator. He took over. Hmm. For it's like 60 oh. days. It's temporary. But then there's a clause in there where you can extend it. What? Yeah, it's called a sunset clause. So and, he, if, and if you don't let the sunset on it, then they, they don't care. They'll just go ahead and. Yeah. Right. So each of the United States is singularly living under its own particular form of dictatorship. You've got dictatorship, yeah. di- dictatorship light, which lets you roam the country. Then you've got dictatorship blue, which makes you stay home while they don't. <laughs> yeah, we got some of that dictatorship <laughs> blue going on here in Kansas. Uh, <laughs> and did you know that Idaho is the potato capital? Yes. And so, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Taters. So, I don't want any dick taters from. Hey, you know, what's your milk? I'll grow my own. <laughs> <laughs> you, funny. Ah, you dirty girl. Mary's, Mary's being a very dirty girl. Oh, my goodness. Ratings no, will go uh, up. Help, help. Help. <laughs> People will help. pay attention to what we say between the bad jokes. And realize someday they'll realize. Oh, they had a, they had a point through all that bullshit. <laughs> I'm teasing you, man. What mm. did did she get frosty there? <laughs> okay, frosty? I've got a whole list of stuff. I got something I want to talk to you about. Ready? Okay. I think that the Antifa people are the invaders that create violence, and that's not because uh, people aren't violent. It is because the, to initiate something that that's so big takes a lot of they, it. They do tend to incite it, as in egg it on. Yeah, right. Encouragement, and they break things to to give the appearance of, hey, look, there's people doing it already. So your visual uh-huh. view is pretty limited in the crowd. You see what you can see. There you go. Right. Mm. But I think that the the invasion is from these people that are anti-government. Now, I'm anti-government, but I'm not anti-government to the level of uh, violence because I'm not there. I'm way over here watching. See, and I don't think they're anti-government at all. Oh, yeah. I think, you don't? I think they are just destructor mode. Because really, they have their own govern, governing entity. So it's not necessarily that they're anti-government. Mm. They're just anti-anybody doing anything that that they aren't doing. Mm. And anybody, you know, anybody that thinks different from them, that's what they're oh, anti. Oh, okay. That's what the violence part's justified with. Okay. I couldn't figure yeah. it out. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't do the uh, Facebook and 
I don't do the Twitter and all the big stuff. I just, nah. And YouTube is just dull. They don't have nothing new on YouTube for anybody. Bit shoot. Uh, same thing. You get what you get told. So yeah, I figured out. There's there's lots of different little. Excuse I, me. Well, I wanted to stay in tune to a level so that I'd have something to talk about with you on the show, but I'm not so engulfed in it that it's all I think about. Well. But it has a bit of my attention. You know, it's like it, what makes the problems in the U.S. newsworthy in my life. Well, my kids, probably when they come to mind. Oh, they're in America. Holy fuck. You know, but they're grown. They can do whatever they like. Yeah. Well, I. what can I say? People do whatever they... We all do exactly what we want to do. And then we blame what we do on the reasons that we think we have for doing them. And I don't think it's that simple. I think all this shit is way deeper than we were taught so that we'll react fast to things that need time and attention. But first thing that happens is we're taught to get mad. And when you get mad, oh, yeah. yeah, then you lose control. And when you've lost control, that's the whole fucking point of losing your, your control is you can't stop yourself from what you're doing. It's not a, it's not a pretty thing to, to witness, I don't think. But there are people that, uh, I think they thrive on that environment and they, they get a, they get their rocks off watching other people melt down. And that's what we're, we're in the middle of these psychopaths that these cops, it's exactly how you define one of these fuckers. They're, they're like, uh, they're in love with violence and control. You can see it in their demeanor and their behavior on videotape on the internet to, Keep you angry and look at this nasty prick. Look at him be a prick to these little girls, you know. And so, how much of that input can I stand before it's too much? Um, I don't know. That that's up to you. Well, let's call this part of the show too much input. Well, I'm going to discuss it with you. What do you think too much input is? What is, what's your limit of too much input? Uh, you know, I think too much input is, is, is dependent on the individual, but if you've got so much input that you lose your ability to think rationally or critically or even to just freaking think, um, that is too much input. And it's, it's, I think that a, a lot of what's going on right now, especially with politics, anywhere you look, you're seeing so much stuff that it it makes you go almost numb. If you if you don't get triggered with anger or fear, you go numb because it's just so much coming at you. And that is the whole intent behind all of it is to just get you to the point where you're either angry or fearful or numb. Mm. Okay. You know, they, yeah. they, those are the reactions that they want. And so, yeah, are they get inundated with shit. Are they getting that from you? I am not numb yet. Okay. But do they get you that pissed off? Because it's irritating the shit out of me. A couple of weeks now. Okay. Um, well... It's frustrating. Some of these people, I just have to freaking laugh. Guess what? I, I just found the video of the Hispanic guy. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the RLM chat. Because it is, it's freaking hilarious. Cool. I mean, it's like, power tools, power tools. <laughs> Defund the police. Well, it's really not a bad idea. And, you know, let neighborhoods take care of themselves. Well, and I think that's, you know, everybody needs to stop thinking, Jesus is going to come and save us. 
baby Jesus is going to come and save the day. You know, if you guys think that Christ is going to come back to save you, I'm going to get all metaphysical on you here. If you think that Christ is going to come to save you, what you really need to do is stop and realize that if you look back through all of the different religious beliefs, all of the different teachings and stuff, there was always one person like Buddha, Christ, uh, I don't know with a bunch of the other ones, but those two just popped into my head. If you tap into the message and, you know, at least what we were taught, um, if you tap into that feeling of caring about others and not doing to someone else what you don't want done to you, uh, being respectful, being personally responsible, you know, if you tap into that part, then, yeah, Christ is coming to save you because it's inside of you and you are living in that frequency, that energy, that zone. But don't think that some external person is going to come down and you're going to hear the (laughs) angel sing and there's going to be a white guy in white flowing robes with long brown hair and a beard and piercing blue eyes is going to ride down on a cloud and say, here I come to save the day. It's not going to happen, people. It's not going to happen. Wow. You got to find that inside yourself, and you got to save yourself. And so, these communities where people are getting together and saying, "Okay, had enough of this shit," and they all band together and they all stand in front of those buildings, and every damn one of them is either armed with a baseball bat or a gun or a whatever weapon they feel comfortable using, and they hold <laughs> off the pillaging hordes. Go for it. <laughs> They are invaders. They are pillaging hordes, and whatever you defend your own, go for it. Don't go starting a fight, but by golly, make sure you finish it. You you know that we have the technology to reproduce the second return of Christ in in the air. Oh, I know we do. All right, but (laughs) do you also know that there's a lot of people that are aware of that that would still believe if they saw it in the sky, it was real. And even though they got that cell phone in their pocket, they still don't. I don't think they're in tune with the whole thing at all. See, I I think it's the intonation Mm -hmm. that people, you know, they haven't learned to pay attention to how people say things. Because you will have some people that will be saying, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. And then you'll have people going, Jesus Christ. I know what you're talking about. You know, you've got to learn to read the intonation and check out the body language. Because you'll have them, Jesus Jesus I'm Christ, all over and they'll be it. falling on their knees, and they'll be saying, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no, that's what they do to BLM. Um, but and then you have all these other ones that go, Jesus Christ, do you see that shit? It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Jesus Christ. I know, wow. I'm going to go to hell. I'm Are you? Really? By lightning. You promise? Well, I figure. We're live. Know, that that could live. be quite a draw to catch people to watch this. Watch to listen to the show. Listen to Mary Cook live. She got electrocuted sitting in her house in Kansas. That would be like a some kind of celebrity thing to go viral. Yeah, and when all I, because I did not say Jesus Christ in a reverent way. I went happen. Jesus Christ. But it could happen. See, all right. And if you believed all that crap and that happened to you, then what would you think? See, it's all relative to the player. This game, this, this game that we play called life, it's all interpreted by each individual player. And when it fucks up, it's because too many of us got together at one time. We're not supposed to be that fucking connected, you idiots. That's why there's so much room. Spread out, disperse, leave the other guy the fuck alone. Six feet, six yeah, feet. Well, no, 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 no. That's not how I mean I know. It. I mean it in terms of... If people were left alone and not interfered with by the system that we created somehow, way before I was ever born, that I don't participate in unless I'm being threatened to, I don't play. So I look onto this 
reality that we call living. And uh, you make it what you want it to be. Mm-hmm. In the long run, I mean, and then there's some days are just better than other days, I think. Because I have, I have a weekday here and there. Not any different than anybody else. Well, you know, I think everybody has those days. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, when, when the government enhances the negative side of your shitty day, and then it keeps every day adding a brick to that pile on your back, and then two months later, you're going to snap like a pencil. And that's what we saw. Yeah. The timing starts out with two weeks and turns into two months. And I think it just got the the weakest of us. Not physically weakest either. Just some of the weak weaker thinkers. The ones that need uh, somebody to lead them. Or they alone, they wouldn't do it. But hey, there's ten of us. Hey, let's go do that. Those kind of people. Because ten plus ten plus ten. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hmm. Yeah. Grimm's just sent me a... Well, that's or, because you and Grimm are messing yeah. around on the RLM chat. I know. Right in are. front We're of my face. Around. And I didn't but even look. This, this is a socially hmm. responsible protester. Wow. Having the six feet. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what? And that, I would, wouldn't would mind giving her that. That wouldn't bother me a bit. See, it's not the people that are afraid and timid and scared and want to wear a mask that bother me. It's it's the ones that don't want to that feel they have to because if they don't, they're going to get in trouble are fueling this freaking fraud that we're caught in. Or the ones that are so self-important that they feel as though they have been put on this planet to tell me how to do things. So you should side, wear a yeah. mask. Yeah. You should wear a mask. Yeah. You should. How do, oh, <laughs> I went up to see Lisa B. the other day just to, just to kind of chat because she's been, you know, she's a hairdresser. She was yeah. shut down for quite a while there. Wow. Oh, yeah. So that's right. no that's income true. of any kind. And, wow. And so she had kind of a rough go, and I had to go grocery shopping anyway, so I stopped by her house for about an hour before I went to the grocery store. And she was telling me she had um, one of her ladies come in with a mask on, and Lisa said, if they want to wear a mask, fine. You know, she she sanitizes the yeah, room yeah. before she does yeah. all this fun stuff. That's part of what you have to do to anyway, keep your license. In your house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right? in, in the salon part, you have to sanitize everything between customers. Yeah, but it's in her so, home base. It's her home yeah, base. Yeah, so it is. So she's not renting a space out. She's using her. Well, this is how she, restrictive these fucking government bitches are. That's why I, get, that's why I hate them. What business well, is it of theirs what you do in your house if you're making money or not? It's none of their business. Well, in any case, she's. Yeah. She has this gal come in. She sits in the chair, and she tells Lisa, you know, you should be wearing a mask. And Lisa said, why? Well, to protect my health. And Lisa said, well, you're wearing a mask. Yeah, but don't you care about my health? And Lisa said, well, sure I do, but you're wearing a mask. That's why I'm not telling you to take your mask off. I care about your health. Well, you should care about my health, and you should wear a mask. For no, my health. That's too much. Gotta and, go. <laughs> and Lisa said, um, well, then maybe you should care about my health. And whenever I go into your liquor store, you should keep me from buying all that alcohol that I'm purchasing to deal with all of this bullshit that's going on with this COVID stuff. Well, that's not my responsibility. Well, then why should I have to wear a mask for you? You know, and so she was telling me about wow. this interchange. Yeah. And I just looked at Lisa and, yeah. and said, so are you no longer going to do her hair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what's she going to do? Put, use a rake? And, and Lisa said, well, yeah, pretty much. I let her know, well, if you don't feel safe coming into yeah. my salon to yeah. have me do your hair without me wearing a mask, then I suggest you find someone else where you feel safer. Yeah, she and probably I knows that. that was a very nice PC way of handling that, but I, I'd have told her, well, Sorry. Yeah, the the client you know, knows. If you a truly care about your health, you wouldn't be coming here in the first place. <laughs> but obviously, wow. your vanity and your roots 
<laughs> over the road wow, your man. care for your health. Okay. Well, yeah, Lisa said that if I would have been here, she would have laughed. Oh, yeah. Because you're, you're, you're a hot potato, though. You go off easily at people. Well, I just like to throw people's absurdities right back in their face and right. then just smirk and turn around and walk away. Cause yeah. It's like, yeah, you know I can do that without all the, without all the, uh, the tells of it. You know, it shows exactly what it is. It kind of looks like it, but it sometimes not. <laughs> but it is. But it's you know yeah. what I mean. But some people like people like yourself aren't aren't so easily controlled. I don't think. No. Yeah. No, well, I'm it's, not through yeah. the leash. <laughs> yeah, I'm more, I think I'm more insulting than you are because I can pretend like it's cool while I'm being a prick. <laughs> it's got to be a slap in the face. You know, I was just thinking about, oh, how would I handle that particular problem? And I, and I thought, wow, if somebody did that to me, I'd want to knock them in the fucking skull. <laughs> if I was what? me to myself, I'd knock me out. <laughs> Say, what? You know, in, in a confrontation situation, the way I am, the way I behave, I, I always wondered why people get so mad at me and until I thought it through and I thought it through and went, holy fuck, it's me. I'm incredibly irritating when I, when I want uh, to be irritating, I suppose it is, right? But it's like it takes, it's like a, like a drug or something, you know, and it takes over and you just ride with it till it's finished. But it, it's not, yeah. it's not an aggra- it's a fucking mean, well, when I look back at when I do it, ooh, I'd punch me right in the face if I did, somebody did that to me. Ooh, they better be close, <laughs> you know? Well, well we, we're in a world of strife and struggle right now, and the vibration is hitting me in ways that I'm really uh, susceptible to, I think. It affects my mood in a physical way. Because it's there, and I feel it. <laughs> you can't control yeah. your feelings, people. That's why they, they feel, you feel things for physical, you know, so that you're, you're being warned of something. And I think that when you feel something in a, a non-physical, painful way, that you're being warned of something. But we don't know how to define these things yet. We're still working on them. See, and I think you can control your feelings just by simply, instead of saying, I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm hurt, yeah. I'm whatever, instead of saying, I am, throw an extra word in there. <laughs> Say, I am feeling angry, mm-hmm. I am feeling sad, I am feeling happy, and that way you're not letting the the emotion overtake you, you're saying, okay, I'm feeling this emotion right now. And you'd be surprised how much of a difference it makes when instead of saying, God dang it, I'm angry. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, I'm feeling a little anger right about now. Yeah, you break it down to the definition of the word. What I'm saying is that the way you feel something and the way that you're taught to explain it are not quite always the same. They seem the same, but... If you give it the more thought I give things, the less rational answer there is to what I was taught. Yeah, and see, that's all part of the spell casting. You know, they cast spells on us with words, but we don't understand that with words, we can also reverse their spells. So, you know, instead of them doing things that make us angry and make us this and make us that, hmm. we can go, okay, I see that, yeah. and I'm feeling this emotion. But you're I'm blaming. not letting that emotion take me over, but I am feeling this emotion. Why am I feeling this emotion? So but it gives you a little bit of a distance. Still blaming somebody else. It's the way it sounds. See, you talked about spell well, casting. When, when you defend yourself, you always sound like, well, if you're defending yourself, you must have done something. See, we're taught that shit, too, instead of yeah. sit down yes, and... You must, and have done, yeah, you must have done something in order to earn mm-hmm. the assault that's coming upon you. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the words have power that strike us at moment with no warning, and all of a sudden, boom. Okay, but we're not taught yeah. to interpret that. We're taught different things that really don't matter. But 
the ways that it does matter, it's, it's a lot easier to control it than I thought. The wavelength, the wavelength is a matter of what you want to see, how you want the world to be. You make it that way. Whether you uh-huh. know it or not, that's another story in itself. But it's, it's a good explanation for why. You know, like we have yeah. better ways to use uh, material. Use hemp, you can make just about anything your mind can imagine. But no, we've been taught to use synthetics that are wasteful and they damage the planet. And the weight's burning this and all these other stupid fucking ideas that make money but waste shit uh, are the problem. And we've been taught that it can't be repaired. Oh, we've done it enough. It could be fixed. But they won't stop everything. Now they might. I think they're, maybe they won't even have a choice. Mm. Because... Well, they've run out of uh, money. They can't. The only thing they've got left is defense. They're out of money on every other level. They don't oh, manufacture yeah. nothing that anybody's buying. And yeah. now they've got this corona crap, so now imports and exports, all oh, that's all been thrown to the shitter. Why? Because they can't continue their lives. I think the Internet forced them to push their hands sooner than they thought. And then to get the uprise with the corona, that was a great story. What a brilliant idea that was. Right into the uh, the racial riots, which were all you know pushed from other sources behind them. Black lives matter. Give me a break. Lives matter or they don't matter. If you're black and I'm not, then what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Excuse me? Because uh, I got the Jew card. Top that, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. You want to play and race cards? Thing. Yeah, I watched a video yesterday, I think it was, where they were talking about Black Lives Matter, and, and it was Hollywood people saying that. And then when someone, I can't remember what her name was, but when someone called her out on it, yeah. she said, well, I'm Jewish. So yeah, there you go. Ah. You're anti-Semitic. Isn't that And I thought, amazing? oh, holy shit. So, okay. You always, they always have to use divisive language. And I, I tell you what, when, when my granddaughter tried to let me know that I was uncaring because I said all lives matter, mm. it was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> uncaring. You are the one that's <laughs> being all. inclusive here. Mm. I'm the one being inclusive, including all of them. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. And, you know, if people truly believe that black lives matter, yeah. why are they not parked in front of every goddamn Planned Parenthood in the country? Because two million black babies are aborted every year, minimum. I don't know. Two what? million. I don't know. How, how many blacks kill blacks about, every it's, year? It's about if half black of black lives really mattered then they would be protesting every time a black guy killed another black guy. But they're not. Why are they not protesting that shit <laughs> in Chicago? If black lives really mattered, but that's not. That's And that's how they, the leeches that be, do this shit, is they give you something that gets you in the field, and then they steer it in a direction that they want it to go to take the storyline or the agenda. Wow. How long ago did you figure that part out? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, I don't know. I'm teasing you, Miss I know. I'm playing around because I'm smoking on my magic pipe. I know, and the I magic, go off on a tangent. And... The, the magic dork pipe, I summoned it. It is here. Hmm. So today, yeah. you know what I call today's show? Huh? 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 Do, what do you call it? Do voters make necessities disappear? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because once they start voting for something, yeah. then all of a sudden, like magic, there's a scarcity. Well, you remember that um, Fresco guy, Jacques Fresco. What, what was his thing he was in called Cirque? You remember that? Jacques Fresco, uh, he had this like a kind of like a one world order kind of a idea, but it was <laughs> Venus Project. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah. Okay, well he died, but 
his ideas were uh, you if you take the parts that fit your your own story you can find good shit in it you know? just like anything well, else yeah. And, it's like Michael Pellinger and, and his Ubuntu movement. Okay, so w- w- what I wanted to lean towards talking about, l- let me get you going on this one, is he says, use the what's available, the best available um, necessities to create your, uh, your things with, whatever the best of the best is, use that. Be, you know, uh-huh. Make things to last 100 years. But uh-huh. instead, what we have is this disposable shit that you know you need a replacement every thirty days. Yeah, it's called planned obsolescence. Right. We've discussed this over the years. Everybody talked about it. You know, the, all the shows that we you know carry with, they, they've all done that. So we're all familiar with this. Even people uh-huh. that are new would be familiar with planned obsolescence. But using the best technology and the best uh, materials as a rule of thumb, would re- would remove so much law that it would make lawyers obsolete. Uh-huh. I mean, if you're already expected to use whatever was, cra- was rated as this is the best, and there'd be a panel of experts to decide that, we've got brilliant people. See, the problem what we have is the dishonesty and the corruption. Yeah. So that goes into way bigger things like religion, and politics, education, all these huge monsters, trillion dollar fucking federal education bureau. The fuck? What, what for? What kind of stupidity was that? Um, I mean, I would have saw that coming. security for those that don't want to have to work, you know, they start, you know, like the priest class. Hmm. Do they really, as a whole, you know, the just looking over as an umbrella thing, how many of them actually work for anything that they get? Well, you don't Instead, you don't watch Netflix because I'm telling you, I saw the preacher man. He was not only was he a building his church with his own two hands, he was a gunfighter too. <laughs> well. <laughs> And yeah, there were always exceptions to every rule. But when you, when you look back at what the priest class, I know, I know what you're talking about. Back in the day, yeah. you well, know, yeah. how could they live high on the hog for the least amount of sweat equity? Well, they convince everybody else that they have a higher purpose, <clears throat> that they have a direct line to old Kaboom out there somewhere, and. Only if you bring them offerings that are worthy of God will they give you a little bit of the wisdom that they have gleaned throughout the ages of yeah. communing with yeah. God. Yeah, all that. I don't really know yeah. much about that stuff, to be real honest with you. I. That's what I guess that is one of those things, and some of that, some of it was prior to uh, reading the Ringing Cedar series. You know, I started because a lot of this religiosity stuff. Well, when I was seventeen, it really pissed me off because when <laughs> mom and dad had a divorce, and and I went to church, and the priest said, "Well, you can't oh, yeah. of this." Oh, yeah. you can't. And it was like, why? Excommunication. So you no longer exist in the eyes of the church. Oh, well, fine. Hell of a church, huh? Aren't you glad a group like that threw you out? I mean, who'd want to be a a good standing member in a group of people that are that tight? They got sticks up their ass. Well, you know, I really, about that time was when I started... um, Taking on the mindset of Groucho Marx. I don't want to be a member of any group that would have me as a member. Uh, yeah, well, that's because groups are disgusting. Could be. They are. Put two people together and you can make a mess. Period. That's the way it is. People that never have problems with other people are alone. <laughs> the only problem they got is they got to go out and see other people so they can get food. And other than that, they're fine. But you put... Two of us in one building, and then there you go. 
You can either have conflict or you can have uh, cooperation. The world is designed right now. It's leaning towards conflict, just in case you didn't notice. Thought I'd bring it to your attention. I have the, uh, Yes, dear, the overwhelming majority of the populations of the planet Earth right now as we speak are heavily engaged in stupidity beyond my comprehension and abilities to... Uh, can't explain it. I, I can, but I don't think other people agree with it. So I... What do you do? It's like I started it out with my advice. You know, sure, give me that advice. You're not you're an idiot. <laughs> it's easy to advise when you're sitting in somewhere else. Oh, yeah. If I was you, I'd shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I'm doing a radio show, so I kind of, I got to uh, yeah. say something. But I can, I, just so that people, they understand that. I realize that it brings up that side of it. That that uh, mime radio broadcast, you know, that just popped into my head as you were saying, shut the hell up. A mime radio broadcast. I wonder how well that would go over. Yeah, but we're all possessive about our territory. It's since it's brought in. What do you call it? Indoctrinated into us. I, I got into it. I have little fences around the compound here with the misses for crying out loud. You don't just walk up to my front door and knock. <laughs> it's not that simple. And that's just circumstances. The front of the house is in the back, and the back is in the front. Well, you know, borders borders are necessary. You know, like, you have borders on your cells. Every cell in your body has a border. So borders do kind of add a little bit of cohesion. Well, I think it's just that if you, you play the face game, you know, you, you show one, and there you go. You're you're showing a border. Everybody's cool with it. They don't they don't come uh -huh. push on your fence to see if they can knock it over. See how strong your fence is. They just go, oh, okay. The guy built a fence. We, we, we won't bother that, and they leave it at that. It's yeah. A, yeah, well, it's like see, where you're that, at. That's what normal people that that are not total buttholes and going, oh, look, a fence. Let's see if we can jump it. Oh, I wonder what they have inside that fence. Let's see if we can take it. <laughs> Isn't that curiosity, though, when you're young? Well, you know, not the not take it part, but the. But yeah. well, when when I was a kid, you yeah. know, when we saw fence in yards, we didn't try oh, and jump fence over in yards. Them. Wow, I don't I don't know how old I was before because we lived in a, a a big neighborhood that had a lot of houses. There there was so there was uh, fenced off from the backs, but not the front yards. A lot of the front yards just flowed into the next yard. Or they were separated by a driveway that went to the backyard where you had your separate garage. And each house was designed differently than the one next to it. So it was really weird. Yeah. It wasn't, it was, you know, not uniform like Nazis. It was uniform like, uh, I don't know, hippies. <laughs> yeah, there, the yeah. design was just weird. When I look back and... Why was one house had the garage attached to it, but the next house didn't? And one house had a swimming pool, but the other, you know, then five houses didn't have a swimming pool. It was just weird. And the one with the swimming pool had a fence? They, well, they <laughs> were you all... You have to do that nowadays, because if someone they gets were all, into your no, swimming they were, pool and then drowns, they can sue your ass if you didn't have a fence. That was it. They had one, one line from one side of the, the block horizontal to the other and then then each person had to be responsible for anything other than that so if you wanted to be fenced off from your neighbor you threw up the fence it wasn't provided the back one was ah there you go did that make a better picture but so a, a communal back fence yeah pretty much and but the weird part about some houses had these big two car garages separate from the main house, and others didn't. It was like, why did they make so much variety in a neighborhood like that? It was just kind of weird. Hmm. 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 Don't un I don't know. This is just the shit that goes through my head sometimes. No hey, particular I reason. Yeah, I drop in. I come in and out of reality for no particular reason. <laughs> what? 
Yeah. I'm, and yep. you pick on me about the weird shit that goes in my head. <laughs> no, it's the weird shit that comes out the pie hole. <laughs> I got you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm curing civilization one human being at a time. Don't. There you go. And your job is try not to be a human being. Because <laughs> if the definitions are true, it's not really good with their, how they're doing this. We're getting screwed. There, I wonder if maybe those definitions in the Black's Law Dictionary mm, or whatever, mm -hmm. if that's the real definition or if that's just a definition that they want us to believe. The, well, the proof would be in the pudding if you go to court and you've been treated in a certain way by the court, then you know. And if you've never been to a court and you've not had the experience, then you would only know what you saw on TV, which is a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, you're not going to see no good-looking damn uh, women with skirts up to their eyebrows, leaning on across their desk, yelling at the judge in a, an American court. But you will in a film. That's see that they got license to say whatever they want and know that this performance, performance art, and we've been trained to believe if you see it there, it's real. Yeah. Yeah, well, look it happened at it. happened on TV, so it must be true. And well, yet, and yet, you know, if yeah. somebody dies on one show on TV and then they come back on another show, see? Mm -hmm. See? You can shoot somebody and they'll just come back in another episode of another TV show. And you'd be surprised mm -hmm. how many people think, well, isn't that the way it works? Ooh. Can I, I lets me into my next question for you. You ready for a question? Uh huh. Okay. I got a list here. I want to make sure I didn't, don't back up over something I already asked you. Um, boop, 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 boop. Ah, does the state manufacture its enemies? Hmm? Oh yeah. I thought you'd like to rant on that. Well, sure. I mean, that's that's called you know a self fulfilling prophecy, and job security. How in the heck can you get people to keep asking for you to be there if you've already taken care of all the bad guys? You know, you got to have a constant supply of bad guys for them to justify their existence. Or Batman so. would be just a story, not real. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's... It's the difference between history and his story. You know, they put that extra or took the extra S out, but what you don't realize is they took that S out and left the shit in. So. Yeah, but you know what the, the wonderful part of all of this is? Is that Washington, D.C. found a way to make next year more fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah if you think that 2020 was a blast, wait until you see the kickoff. 2021. Can we well, say POTUS Biden children? Hello, Creepy <laughs> Joe. Want to smell my hair? Oh, I don't think Creepy Joe will survive to the elections. And I'm not saying somebody will take him out. I think his dementia will get the better of him and he'll, like, step off a curb right into a bus or something. Well, I mean, he, he's not... He was never the sharpest tool in the shed to start with. <laughs> Wow. Man. Yeah, but look at all the support because people don't like Trump. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. He don't know. Trump I thinks know. everybody loves Trump. Trump well, will you tell know. you, hey, you love me more than any other president you ever heard of. I'm wonderful. You love you me. You know, if it comforts him to think that way, it's his thoughts, not mine. Yeah, but I'm the one living a fantasy, and this guy's in love with himself like that. He's even the president, so wow. Maybe there is something to that. Think of, thinking highly of yourself, shit. <laughs> well, you know, being born in, into in, uh, in chair. being born into millions doesn't hurt anything either. <laughs> you know, I personally think that would be the worst job to have <laughs> in the whole entire <laughs> I, world. I don't know. They're them. How do you know? They they would be like you, only them. So no, it's all relative to what you got. I would not uh, want that job. You well, have absolutely zero, zero, zero privacy. Zero. Yeah, privacy. but you're not qualified to get the job because you're in the wrong damn family. Stop it. 
I, I wouldn't. <laughs> even if I could, I but, wouldn't want it. I mean, even if I could. No uh, shit. Yeah, but I, see, no. nah, that's one of those fantasy things. No, let's live in the reality of it. Well, you're you're in the wrong. Their kids for a minute. They can't even be real freaking kids. How do you, I feel? I really feel bad for the kids. I that? really do. Okay, see, I'm confused about a few things. Cause I okay. left. I left America during the Obama administration, the second term. Okay. Uh huh. Now, uh-huh. while I was in America, and Mister and Mister Obama were living in, up in the White House with the two little girls. Uh huh. There was speculation at the time that Mrs. Obama was not indeed Mrs. Obama at all. Well, <laughs> know what I'm talking about? Obama all she wants to, or he, or whatever. Right, right, right. But, but see, here's the beauty of the internet and the 20th century thinker, is they made means for the internet to show you all the ways that you could look at Michelle Obama and see a man. Uh Uh-huh. See, so we're being, like TV, we were were led to the answer, being told all along the way, this is what you're going to see. Went, wow. And see, I'm jealous because... I didn't think of that. You know what I didn't think of? Hmm. And I saw it a couple weeks ago. Someone had just posed a question on Twitter. Hmm. Has anybody seen any pregnant pictures of Michelle Obama? Oh. (laughs) Everybody's got pregnant pictures. Everybody that's been pregnant has got pregnant pictures. Okay. I take your word for it. I've never been pregnant. Okay. Everyone I know. Okay. As I just said, I'll take your word. I've seen people so, would take selfies of themselves having a sandwich. So I think yeah. being pregnant would qualify for a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Well, if for nothing else, you know, of course, back in the day, you didn't have the, the smartphones and all that shit. Yeah, to do that's what I'm talking about. And back then, they still went out of their way to get a fucking camera. To take a picture. Oh, look, it's Martha. She's never going to be this big again. Let's get pictures of this shit. Good God, it looks like she swallowed a beach yeah. ball and then someone inflated yeah. it through her belly button. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Like that. Whatever. The, but, you know, and yeah. now everybody's got a camera. But back in our day, <laughs> boy, if you had a camera, you people were like, well, ah, hey, can I use your camera? <laughs> no, yeah. I don't think so. Nah, I wasn't generous with my toys. I'm very Jewish with stuff. And when I think about it, I gave you stuff and I'll buy you things. But when it's mine and I use it, uh, well, don't keep your mitts off. It, man. You're going to break something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's my history. That's what I know of other people mishandling my things. Is I always end up without the thing and they broke it or they took it or whatever. And there's that's that. It's the end of it. There is no insurance company. There is no 911 or... Mommy or daddy, it's just that's the result of what took place. And being responsible is such a drag. I don't want, Mary, I don't want to be responsible. (laughs) Don't make me be responsible, damn it. Make the state do it. (laughs) I think that's what we're all striving for in in the 21st century is uh, the, the luxury of blaming the other guy. For everything that pisses me off, I'm going to blame you. <laughs> that's what. Oh, okay. That's what we've been trained. This is a, my observation of human human interaction over the last I don't know sixty odd years. <clears throat> but the conscious stuff tells me that boy, are we fucked up? Yeah, facing that is not an easy task because I got to involve myself. Hey, yeah, I'm burnt too. You know. I've got my burnt edge over here. And we try to not show our burnt edge off too often. We save that people that are really close because it would scare off the newbies. Yeah. yeah. It's that grandpa put a robe on. One of those oh, moments. Lord. You know? Well, because we all come to him or we're all at one. That's what the other people are for. That's their job is to judge us and tell us what we're doing. <laughs> and then it overrules the individual idea of what you are and what you're doing because they told you it's something else. And we get 
caught in these fucking traps. <laughs> it's funny when I'm beyond it, but when I'm in it, hey, <laughs> you're squashing my eggs there. <laughs> Yeah, get off my bread, man. Get off my bread. Oh, I got yeah. I got a really boring uh, Freddy Town update. Big stuff happened okay. today in grocery. Felt really bad for somebody in public situation today. It was almost like a, a like like a religious experience. And what happened is yesterday was a state holiday where everybody got the day off. And today, everybody could go to the grocery and do what they normally do on Friday Uh on Saturday. But see, then you got your people that normally do it on Saturday. So that doubles everything. (laughs) So I'm in the grocery store with like a lot of people. And there's all these markers and we're all looking at each other. It's just ridiculous, you know, because we're all elbow to elbow because there's, and that's where the markers are. (laughs) You're already were back where you started in the first place. But now there's markers to indicate that there you are. <laughs> yeah, am I making sense to you here or are you reading something? Uh, is that a no matter, you know, it's like the, those sign thingies that say you are here? Kind of, is that what No, you're... no, no. The stickers to tell you the social distancing shit. Yeah, the, the six feet. Yeah, they were, yeah, I had yeah. to deal with that at the grocery store. They started out and then they got smaller. Now they're, they're so close together. That's as close as you can get. You can't physically, if you get any closer than that, you might be having sex in the store with somebody. Already. So the stickers on the floor are for what? You are here. Um, I don't know because I, when I was at the grocery store the other day, they were saying that social. Please, please try to abide by social distancing guidelines, which means two grocery carts distant. But, but when I was standing in line at the checkout, and I was standing on the line, the front end of my grocery cart was right on the line of the person <laughs> standing right in front of me. So it's like, okay, wow. this is the distance we normally stand anyway. Exactly. So what, why do you have the painting on the floor? Was somebody bored? I think it's got to do with uh, the state of mind of mind of a follower, of a supporter of state and order. That illusion that you can you can control people by telling them what to do. <laughs> what the fuck are what's wrong? Well, you're a bunch of free thinkers, and you can do anything you like except these things here. <laughs> Which what the, everything they've taken well, and what? How do you take people's freedom from them? I've seen really it happen. Crazy. Here, I've seen it happen. I know, but what's what's so crazy about this? And I just had to thinking about this is you know when you're in a store or a setting like that, unless there's a massive like push. Hmm. Most people give a little bit of buffer zone anyway. Anyway, it's yes. Called, yeah, yeah, staying yeah. out of, yeah. you know, you don't want to invade someone's personal space. No. And so I was looking at all, I got to thinking, you know, the only reason this is even a thing, because most people do this anyway, it's not like most people get up there and shove their cart in the back of the person that's right in front of them. <laughs> no, very, and usually it's got little kids involved in it. You yeah, know, when yeah. something goes so, wrong like that. You know, that, they're not like, doing that, nah. but when you see those little lines on the floor, yeah, that's yeah. like a subliminal or a subconscious little triggering device, like I think, chain. to let people know, if you stand here, you're being a good little citizen. Yeah, get a cookie. Whoa, yeah. you know what? That makes my that makes my tumor bleed when I, I see people adhering to that. That strict of kind of social obedience. What well, you don't need that, especially here where I live. That, that's just overkill. Control freaks trying to you know shove their fucking version of what you should do down your throat. They're not doing it. They live in Copenhagen. Yeah. You yeah. can't you can't achieve those requirements there. There's not enough fucking room for the people that are there. So well, all they did was kill their own economy. Over a bullshit story. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm supposed to trust the judgment of these fucking clowns? Give me a break. But, I do, because <laughs> I'm here. But that doesn't well, mean I have to like it. 
but I'm a guest in their country. But hey, You're, pay attention you're supposed here. to trust their judgment and not pay any attention to your own personal what you see and your own judgment. Yeah, yeah, that's the way the world is supposed to work. And yeah, and even here I went fuck it. <laughs> Cirque was a little worried about how things could went at first because I'm kind of headstrong. I don't. No. Yeah, and on, it's, well, it's a disturbing thing to live with in these times of threats and everybody's going to hurt each other and all. It's a bunch of shit going on right now. And it makes the vibration very slow and hard to walk through. <laughs> and we're, we're just so drugged down in all this crap. You just feel miserable. That's what I think is going on. For the, I mean, everybody, not you and me so much as the globe as a collective. That's the dominant thing right now is being depressed about your environment. Ah, uh, you know, I I just don't let it. Okay, that's me and you, but yeah. I would say by the results of all these uh, lockdowns globally and then the spread of the damn, uh, the, the rioting sp- didn't spread here, but it spread to places like Greece, I read. So they're using... It's all in cities, though. Right. They're you don't exactly see that same, shit. Yeah. yeah. Antifa's worldwide, but they're using the riots as their excuse, and it's just yeah. violence on on society. Whoa! Come on, people, let the cops deal with those protesters. Should just like get together and figure out. Hey, at a certain time, let's just all leave and go home, and let the let them deal with it. <laughs> or hey. Here's a novel idea. I actually I have of. seen a couple of videos yeah. along these lines. What? Is you know when the the rioters, the looters, the pillagers, the infiltrators, yeah. the yeah. instigators, yeah. Yeah. when they start getting into their act, those that are protesting jump all over their shit and stop it. Or, I have seen a couple of videos along those lines. And you know what? If you're going to be out in a group, yeah. you are going to be judged by those you hang out with. Hmm. And if you're going to let little monsters like that get away with that shit, then I'm sorry. You're going to get painted with the same brush. If you don't want to get painted with the same brush, then you put a stop to it. Don't be going, someone call 911. <laughs> Down with pigs. Down with pigs. Someone call 911. <laughs> They're freaking morons. That's not very fair. Someone call 911. Oh. It's not fair. Well, that's kind of a definition for life. Life isn't fair. Do you think. Life isn't fair. You know, and and do you think that the dog and the cat that, uh, that you live with, do you think that that concept comes up in their thinking process in any fashion? Fair? No. I don't think so. The predators. No, it doesn't. No, no it doesn't. it's all about mine. As long as yes. you give them enough, whatever their enough is, you have a tame, domesticated pet. And if you don't feed that tame, domesticated pet for a period of time, <laughs> whoops. You know, right now I have four very tame, domesticated, mm. laying down in front of the window air conditioning pet. <laughs> <laughs> Is it warm? It is very warm here. Yeah, are, you, me, are you cool with it? Or, my... Yeah, but are you cool with it being that way and you have the way to deal with it, or are you complaining? Well, you know, okay, it's not, it just says it's 96 degrees out here right now. Mm-hmm. But we got wind. Hoy vey. Nebraska right, cool. has chosen to suck today. So the wind is oh. really going, coming out of the south. Huh. And... um yeah, huh. it's it's a fun day to stay inside, <laughs> basically. Um, and yeah, my critters have decided that, yes, Mommy, we would like to stay inside with you. So they are all just kind of sacked out where they can catch the breeze, either from the ceiling fan or the air conditioning unit. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, can I brag to you about Denmark for a minute, about all this corona sure. shit? Sure. Because me and yourself share a distaste for the CDC, correct? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, what they have here, I guess, in, as far as their own personal CDC, they just demoted them uh, uh, to a, an advisory position 
in their government structure for all the mishandling of the coronavirus. If they would have oh, told them, yeah. if they would have told them the truth as they knew it, instead of what they were told to tell them by the con men behind them, things would have been different. I mean, all these stories we're hearing about all these victims of a cold, give me a break. If you're a victim of a cold, you have something worse going on. And as we all know, huh, what is it? Two out of three people in the U.S. are on some kind of prescription medication to improve their longevity because they're ill and it's managing their illness. They don't know is the reason they're ill is they're taking the pill. They're taking the pills. <laughs> I said kill. Ha uh-huh. <laughs> Meant kill. I said kill. Yeah, that's what I found out for myself. Now, I assume, now this is my stand on this, I assume that I'm just like you are. Well, if stopping at work for me, and all I do is really walk for exercise, I don't do anything strenuous, I'm not pumping iron, or nothing crazy like that, just moderate, you know, walk to a grocery store and back with a few, you know, few items. And that's it. Uh-huh. Well, there you go. Then I'm disappointed in the rest of them. They're not following my plan. <laughs> damn it. So, damn it. Well, when my cult's popular, you're going to go, damn, he was right. <laughs> well, we're maybe, being, maybe not. Yeah, we're being pushed. Look, six corporations are going to come forward when all this violence crap burns itself out and there's nothing left to fuck up and they got to repair it all. Six corporations are going to have money to, to fund it. There you oh, go. Yeah. What, what Are you people stupid that don't get you being played like a fiddle <laughs> over and over by the same people over and over? 45 years of this shit from, what's his name, Biden. Fuck. It's, it's over. And he's going to be the president. <laughs> Help. Uh, no, well, I know it's all it's all performance art to me, but I'm just saying that's the name that's going to hold that seat next, I think. And this is because that's the way it looks. And it's so, it's so fucking entertaining. Mary, I mean, come on. America was really a cool place once, and now it's an amusement park. For well, me. it's because it was a cool place and people thought we don't have to work at it to keep it a cool place. It's an amusement park right now. I'm telling you this... You're like well, on I the, don't find it very amusing, but yeah, you're, I know. Right, I know what you pers- mean. Yeah, personally, on our level of living, we're not the you know victims of this mass hoopla. If we were, we wouldn't be probably talking on the radio. We'd be probably out not. protesting and stopping the government. You know what they got to do? to Just stop. <laughs> get together and say no. Get 20 million people together to say no at one time. I'll bet you people to listen to that. And we got the bodies, we just don't have the means of uh, trust amongst each other to do anything positive. It's always got to be to defend something or attack something. It's never to fix something. <laughs> That's not broken. <laughs> That's Bush's, or not Bush, Trump's job. Well, it's not my job to fix it. Well, the, it, see, it's... Somebody else's. Well... I think government was designed to work exactly how it works, and oh, yeah. we got lied to about that. That's the part they leave out on the explanations. All your this and all your that, bunch of bullshit. It's sweet talk to take your shit. You're just getting uh, sold snake oil, you know, by a Jew, and they love <laughs> they love you for it so much. Oh, you have no they idea. They love you a long time. But you. We're not, that's not public knowledge. That's internet stuff. You know, that's that, what do you call it? Uh, conspiracy theories on the interwebs about the Israelis. And the Israelis are, crying out loud, they're worse than Americans. Ooh, crap. But yeah. on the bad side, there's 50 states and there's only one Israel. So when your 50 states all team up together against something else, well, holy fuck. But now they got 50 states all divided, subdivided, and then subdivided, divided, and then more inside of that. So there's no unity in anything except violence and mayhem. Mm. 
Have you seen anybody come forward and say, look, let's figure it out, come to an agreement? No, they're just encouraging the violence on the news and then showing that on the Internet, pushing that down your throat. You know? Oh, yeah, because that sells. Ta-da! So then I came to the decision that I blame the protesters. I don't blame Antifa for being the cunts they are, because hey, that's what they are in the story there for me, right? But those protesters that think they're helping are actually creating the atmosphere necessary for these other fuckers to come in and destroy your 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 life. On top of the corona crap they pulled. So we're being played like fools, and 95% don't have a clue. They think they're either helping or hurting, and, and they're doing just part. The part they're playing is exactly what makes this thing work this way. Yep. Like a cake recipe, you know? If you don't add a certain thing to it, it's not going to bake right. It's going to bake, it's going to cook, and you're going to have smoke and shit after if you don't take it out on time, but it's never going to be a proper cake. And that's how they do society. Is they, they withhold something very, very important. They hold something back. And I think that thing is knowledge. And they fuel oh, yeah. us full of bullshit stories and lies. And then they sit back and watch us all fight each other. When what we should do is, like Beatles says, go hang a judge. Well, Where's the rope? Sometimes eh. they give you the knowledge, but they give it to you served up in a pile of shit. And you go, I don't want that. Well, no, most people don't say they don't want it. Most people support it. That's the whole point. Even if you're protesting against it, you're supporting it. You're, yeah, you're giving you're it still giving energy to it. All the well, yeah, plus the body count. Look, we're all protesting together against this evil thing. And it, you know what? If you didn't, what would happen? Yeah. But no, these our uh, our lives are basically controlled by outside forces called government, education, religion, whatever group you belong to, the diners club, something. Something's got your interest. And then there's the rest of us that we we kind of do, but we don't. Yeah. Hmm? Well, I'm, I'm aware yeah. that the state manufactures the enemy. So don't let the state make me an enemy of the state. That's their, That's what they're doing on purpose. Gives them the right oh. to have police and have military and all this other shit to hurt people with. It's, they're protecting you from yourself. What? <laughs> Come on. When you break it down, it doesn't. It, you see it's them doing us. It's not us doing ourselves. We're caught in a trap. Yeah. yeah. And then they pissed everybody off, locking them down and mishandled them for years and years and years. This is what you get at the end. And then look yeah, at those well. look at those poor cops too. What a mess those motherfuckers must be to live with. No wonder they can't keep a girlfriend or a wife. Yeah. They not when they notch their bedpost. <laughs> uh. Never mind. I was I was being sarcastical there. <laughs> Bad. Sarcastic cold. It was bad okay. joke time on the dork table. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay, let me that's see. okay. Um, we need a time for everything on the dork table. Have you all? Have you ever noticed how it's like always one man at a time until it's government, and then it's one guy speaking for everybody, right? And then what do they get? They get either like these greasy like Nixons or. Bushes, those greasy used car salesmen, or they get some bumbling fucking retard like, oh, I don't know, Jimmy Carter. <laughs> you know, get some racist bastard like Truman. I hate a nigger. Those kind of guys. And 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 what we've been taught and what is so different than what really took place, <laughs> like like the Civil War. Yeah, mm. well, I, you know, and every time I look back at some of the, some of the characters in the past, mm. I just think, 
Seriously? Hmm. This well, was the best that they had to offer for us to, and we had to choose from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> peanut wow. farmer. Yeah. The peanut farm. Right? And then, what about Gerald Ford? He had, he was the Speaker of the House, right? Well, uh-huh. Nixon, Nixon was disgraced, so he resigns. And then he got Agnew, and Agnew's disgraced, so he resigns. <laughs> Hey, guess what? We got Bubba. I think Agnew resigned before Nixon or before Nixon, though, didn't he? <laughs> wow, I was given in whatever order it happened. It was all so quick. You know, back in the day when it took place, it was like, boom, turn around and, hey, where, where'd he go? Wasn't he the president a minute ago? Yeah, he, he could give up. Quit. Because, yep. like, I was like, what? 13, 14 years old when all this real big drama shit's going on and gas prices are doubling overnight and all the grown-ups around me are just in meltdown. Yeah, gas prices were doubling overnight, went all the way up to 72 cents. And yet, when you stop and think about it, 72 cents back then mm-hmm. bought a hell of a lot more than 72 cents does now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Has it really changed? No, that's the point. It wouldn't be this way without the Federal Reserve. But yeah. the public doesn't know the damage that these people do to them. They, they're so just conned and bullshitted by the, the grand illusion. They support it. Well, yeah, it's that part of the recipe that is intentionally omitted. Oh, well, you don't need that. You don't need that ingredient. You don't yeah, need to know that. Yeah, see, so the cake... It comes out, but it's not going to be what you think it is. It's going to be missing some something vital that you really needed to make it proper. But eh, we're we're so easily led, Mary. It's just embarrassing. Well, if there's aliens out there, they got to be busting a gut. Oh, I'm sure they're looking down and going, you know, there is evidence of intelligent life down there. We are getting some kind of readings that there are some people that are actually using their brain cells, but there's so few and far between, I don't know that we even want to mess with it. <laughs> it's true, too. And I would consider myself uh, one of them. I didn't contribute to society either. So, hmm. in the end, I might as well have been a sheep. I didn't change anything about society. I hated society. I was always about, oh, fuck, these people are crazy. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. I was in my 30s and still would would not go rent a place to stay because, you know, there was rooftops to sleep on and the weather was really good and I just didn't give a fuck. Nah, I'd get a shower at a friend's place and do this and that, sleep up there for free. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you but go. it was at a time in life where things like that were, were common. Now, there's homeless people that live on rooftops, I guess. All the shit that's that I used to take for granted is all property now. That People live on it. Yeah. All those wide open free spaces. Are yeah. Not wide open free spaces anymore. I used to hitchhike on the freeway on ramps when I was you know, a kid. There was place for no. them to pull over and stay out in the traffic. So if they, you didn't want to ride with them or they didn't want you to get in their car, you'd have them you weren't back in traffic up to do it. You know, there's still people hitchhike on freeway, even out here on highway wow. on ramps and off ramps. Wow. And the sad thing is, I feel so bad when I pull off of the highway and I see someone standing there and they've got this sign where mm. they're going to. And mm. it's like, I'm going into town. <laughs> you just obviously came from there or you just came from the truck stop. No, I'm mm. I'm going home. Mm-hmm. Can't give you a ride. Sorry. Right. right. Well, and, and that's the sad part about all this, because once upon a time, nobody would have given a thought. Yeah. Once upon a time. But, yeah. Oh, when I was... Not too many now. When I was like 12 to, I don't know, 20-something, I got picked up by people, no problem. Just be out there to thumb it. Unless it was a real heavy area and there was lots of people hitchhiking, like um, Santa Barbara in 101. <laughs> that, in the 70s, that was sometimes you'd be there for a while. Sometimes you'd be there five minutes 
just depended on your vibration, I suppose. Looking Probably. back. Right, but you don't know these things. That's what I mean is. We were robbed of knowledge as we were being raised and fed a bunch of bullshit that really didn't matter. <laughs> Most of the crap they taught me in school, I never used it for anything. Maybe a yeah. trivia game or when I play with you know Grimner on Sunday or uh, what else. Something in school. But outside of that, there was no practical application. They just wasted my time. Their craziness turned me into an anti-state kind of fella. There you they, go. They call me, call me an anarchist. And I tell anarchist. them I'm too fucking lazy to be an anarchist. And they say unto me back, they go, what are you talking about? Anarchists are violent. Blah, blah. No, they're not. Anarchists are the laziest fucking people. You couldn't organize them to have a goddamn coffee clutch. None of them would show up. <laughs> They're fucking anarchists, you idiot. What? It's, it would be easier to have a Procrastinators Anonymous meeting. Same thing. But see, we, we've been portrayed in film and in the media and the news just pounds the shit out of it. You know, I see it on clips on uh, YouTube. That's what I mean. Is It's all there to see. It's all propaganda. It's just a matter of how your training is. You know What you were brought up to believe is going to dictate how you take that information. And some well, you know, some anarchists uh, will be violent. Some anarchists no, will be destructive. No, but that uh -uh. that is their mindset. No, they, that's not an. Yes, an I don't disagree dear. with you. They're not, then they're not being anarchists in any fucking way. They're being psychopaths. Don't cross. Don't cross me together with some psychopath that wants to go break shit. That's not but being that's, an anarchist. That's it's being a psychopath. The way they have morphed the definition. Well, then screw them. They they're wrong. Morphed it. I'm good. I'm sad, Mary. I know. Yeah, I'm but serious. I know. I am sad. I consider myself an anarchist or a voluntarist. If yeah. You will. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll volunteer if I want to, but yeah, if I don't want yeah. to, fuck you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I I agree with that. But some most of the time I don't want to. That's the part of looking on to me that must be very frustrating, especially for certain. I got a lot of, I don't want to do that right now. It left in me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to be aware of what you say to people or you wouldn't know what you do. You know? True. It's not as easy to do as it sounds. Because you got the way no, you're isn't. doing something and then you got the way it's interpreted that you're doing it. And doing the radio, I get to experiment with that and, and uh, maybe study it. It might be a better way. See how I think, okay. you know, to see, when you see, hear yourself talk about how you think about shit. Wow, I didn't know that. That sounded pretty good. With other things, <laughs> I go, oh, man, whoa, poor guy. You know, the lobotomy just did not catch. <laughs> Try it again. Okay, Grammy just said, if right. they aren't following the non-aggression principle or NAP, which yeah. I like the yeah. NAP principle, yeah. then they aren't really anarchists, which That's anarchy it. just means no rulers. Yeah, it's a state period. of mind. It's not a physical action you take on anybody. It's a bunch of shit. Yeah. They just hijacked. It's not a political yeah, move. It hijacked another good thing in life and made a monster out of it for the sheep that don't know how to read. They only know how to believe. And they're yeah. taught to believe the most unbelievable shit from the minute they're taught they're teachable as children. They teach these human beings about this stuff, this religious crap. Yeah, they teach them what to think mm -hmm. and how to act as opposed to how to think. Well, I had the other and side of that. your actions go from there. Right, but I had the other side of that. Where I was told that as, as a teenager. You know, if you want to go to church or anything, like, sure, you can go. But we weren't ever going to take you to it, make you do it. That was because my, my had an aunt that did. Took me a couple times behind my dad's back. But I'm too, oh. you know, I was too little to really know what the hell. I don't even remember. I just remember it. Not any of the shit that happened. Just know it happened, right? Yeah. But when I was like 12, 13, my mom did. Now, you can go if you want to, but we're never going to push it on you. You know, that's pretty much the attitude we had with our kids, too. 
Because I think I was about I, that old before I even understood what religion was in the first place. It didn't attract me, so I didn't know. But it wasn't shoved in my face. But then I was offered it if I wanted to go. I said, whoa. No, nah, I don't want to do that. Okay, go to the pool. See you later. You know, it's funny. Is my oldest still goes to church and takes the kids to church and stuff. My youngest... The only reason she ever went to Bible study stuff was because they had church camp. See, and she wanted so, to go to church camp social. in the summertime and go skiing in the winter. Social, That's the only right? reason. Socializing. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, here's the good side of this. is What is more safe than to go socializing with people that at least live on the side of being nice to each other? On the surface in public. Let's see. Well, and I it, don't. If you're in a small, yeah, it's, if you're in a small enough big place, that thing like a thing like that would make a big difference, because it's all about commerce. Yeah. Right. That's a, a religious entity survives on donations, but if they're not charitable with a percentage of those donations, they're shunned by their supporters. What are you doing for the little guy? You know, hey, show us something. We give you the money. Do something with it. Oh, we need to build a crystal palace so you have a pretty place to come. And it resonates so wonderfully. And that brings us to the end of the dark table on the 6th of June, 2020, Miss Mary. Uh, no, and tomorrow is my oldest daughter's wedding anniversary. Are you hopeful? Oh, I'm I'm going to call and say happy mm. anniversary, happy an I probably ah, say happy. Ooh, oh, good God. Yeah. Send money. Yeah. Warren Ziva yeah. on her and send lawyers guns and money. Be good. There you go. There you go. Well, you can't take it with you and it doesn't have a value anyway, so you might as well spend it while there is some. <laughs> True. But we're True. all fucked. It's so fucked up. And it is. You know, it is and it isn't. It just depends on what what bit of dirt you're actually standing on at the moment right now. That would that would indicate how things would be, I suppose. Yep. But the global yep. together thing, what a bunch of morons, man. Split up and break up into small groups and leave everybody else the fuck along the idiots. We have internet if you want to communicate. You know, I, I really... If you want to go pro protest, that's fine. You know, if you want to tell everybody that Black Lives Matter is fine. Are you a protest? Do, you, <laughs> do you think, you know, if, if it makes you feel better, if it comforts you, then go for it. Yeah. My problem with all of this stuff is when I say, but all lives matter, hmm. then you automatically throw out the race card at me. <laughs> And when I say all lives matter, I don't just mean all human lives. I mean all animals, all plants, the Mother Earth. It all matters because if it's all, number one, it's all matter. And, you know, if the Earth is not viable, then ain't none of us going to be here. So, you know, instead of nitpicking on one, that's like saying only fungi, only mushrooms are good to have on this planet. No, no. <laughs> You know, all lives matter, period. End of discussion. All of them. You want to tell me I'm a racist? You just lost me from paying attention to you ever again because it's like, fine. Okay. You don't want to hear it. Go away. I'm not dealing with you. you you're not a But if you want to go pro protesting is fine, but protesting is not rioting. Rioting, uh, raping, pillaging, plundering, that shit is a whole other, and that mm. is violence. I protesting, see. Protesting, protesting is not, to me, it is not violent. No. Until you start taking action that will cause, directly cause harm to another. It's submission. Then you step yes. into the violent zone. Then you're a rioter. Then you are a plunderer. Well, uh, there's you, no. You can't plunder somebody that submits to your will. Are you crazy? Hey, thanks, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, we got two minutes. We're not I, quite done yet. I'm just. I'm still I'm arguing it out of, with you, woman. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing all of these people say, oh. you just don't understand. <laughs> no, seriously. You're right. Mm. I don't. Mm. I don't 
get it, why mm. you're being so mm. selective, because you're feeding the beast. Mm -hmm. When you're that selective, only these lives matter. Okay, if they do, protest Planned Parenthood. Protest the pawn shops that sell guns to other blacks that are killing blacks in the big cities. Protest, then I'll believe you. That ain't good. But until happen. then, eh. you're being cas you're being funny, uh. Thanks well, everybody. Anyway, yep. That was. I'm done. I'm I'm done. So thanks everybody. Have an absolutely wonderful weekend. Stay out of trouble. Yeah. See you. Love you. Bye. Yeah. All that fun stuff. Well, what <laughs> if you don't? What if you step on a crack? Then what? Then you break a, your mother's back, and then yeah. she will do something to you anyway. Because mothers are badass mothers. Well, I I don't have one. I had one, oh. but I lost her. Uh, okay, now wait a minute. Okay, you, now mis again. you misplaced her. No, I was trying to open the wrong thing to close the show with tonight. Ah. Well, uh, it's a little bit of stuff you got to do, and it's got to be done in a, um, a certain order, in certain format, or it doesn't work. And there you go. Say goodnight. Eat it. Goodnight, Gracie.